Hey, my lovely YouTubers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl, Morgan Tracy J. And today we are doing a video from home again, honestly. And so today I'm going to definitely be decorating my place, but also while I'm recording this, um, I need to be actually get cooking dinner as well. I need to cook some food for this week. Um, and so, yeah, I'm so happy you're back for another day of Vlogmas. I even have my... Um, snowflake earrings on and actually i need to tell you this it is so warm here in oklahoma like literally you don't need a jacket you don't need a sh you i was wearing shorts outside earlier running to the store so anyways today i am going to be decorating my little bitty place okay and then also and i need to quit calling it little bitty okay which we're going to talk about that in just a second okay we're going to talk about that but i need to decorate in here um but first i need to kind of tidy up a little bit stuff is out of the way i wanted to clean up so we're going to clean up we're gonna decorate and we're also gonna cook dinner. We're gonna try to do all of that in a quick video, okay? So hopefully, you you guys are gonna see it like it's gonna take like 10 minutes. It's gonna take me all evening to do all this. But anyways, we're gonna get into this, all right? So thank you for joining me for another day of Vlogmas. I'm so happy you're here. And so let's get in to cleaning up, decorating, and cooking dinner. Let's do it. So I kind of did the dishes and now I'm kind of putting Monty's like toys away and putting like his little random stuff that he has everywhere, kind of getting it out of the way so I can kind of clean up. And I will say I have this desk area in here that's right under my TV, which also is where my blankets go, Monty goes, like his little cage is there. But the top of it is always so junky. And it's also because I live in a studio apartment. Okay, so let me give you the quick rundown on where I'm living and everything. So I currently live in a small studio apartment. I went from living in Tulsa to in an apartment to where I moved back and I ended up living with my mom for one year as we were doing the build out of my office. And then um, in May of this year, I moved into this small studio apartment. And honestly, I've been in a limbo because I didn't know if I wanted to buy a home, buy land, build a home. Like there was just a lot of questions that I just did not know what I wanted to do. And also I was praying about it. And I feel like I had no direction in this last probably four months when it came to where do I want to settle? Where do I want to put my roots? You know, especially, especially as a woman that lives on her own, doesn't have children. Sometimes you question like, should I buy a home now? Should I settle my roots and all that? And so that's kind of where I was struggling at. Um, and so this where this little apartment has really come in handy, but I am looking currently for land and I actually found a piece of land that I truly fell in love with and I should have moved quicker. I had to learn my lesson. If it's for you, it's for you, but also move on things. Don't sit on it. Quit, Monty. Don't sit on it all day long because it sold and I feel like it was in a prime location. But anyways, so that was something. So right now I'm in this small studio apartment and me and Monty J, we are just enjoying it, but also we are looking forward to either buying a home, buying land, or getting another location. Like, so I'm truly looking forward to that and hopefully the beginning, middle of 2024. So right now in this little studio apartment, I literally have clothes in cabinets. I literally have stuff just all around. So I actually bought this big box from the dollar store. And I think this is supposed to be for Christmas gifts and stuff. But what I'm actually going to do is a lot of the stuff that is out of place that I want to put away and kind of out of sight up here on this desk, I'm going to put it in this box because this desk gets so junky so quick. It gets so nasty. And it gets so nasty. So I'm like, let me go ahead and do that right now. And after that, I hopefully I can start decorating, start probably having to prepare some dinner, all that good stuff. But yeah, so that's a little rundown. People ask me all the time, like, Morgan, where do you live? Morgan, how long are you gonna live there? And I will say this, and maybe some women can attest to this. When you are a woman who has not a lot of ties, sometimes you don't know what to do. And I will say that, like, I was like, I'm here, I have family here. 
could I truly could see myself living here but then I'm also like but do I am I sure like do I want to buy a home do I want to build build do I want to buy land like I honestly had a big struggle with that and also to not and to be vulnerable also too I was like well you know let's um take our time let's get our debt to income ratio down let's get our debt down so that our income ratio we can get approved for a bigger loan house loan all that so that was that's also a lot of stuff that I'm working on right now and improving and getting ready for so that's why this place has been really great and I will say it's cute and it's perfect for me and Monty but I will say the day the Lord opens up that door for somewhere else I know I'm gonna be so grateful like I'm gonna be crying tears of joy so is this um, and I'm praying that that will either be my own home that I'm buying or land that I bought to build a home Since we're working on my living room area, I have these trees right here that I definitely want to put lights on, as well as I have this like Christmassy pillow. I think this is supposed to be the snowman. I think this is Frosty the snowman or something, like his thing, the buttons down his body, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, so I definitely want to utilize this pillow. I think I want to put it like somewhere cute, as well as we have this red plush blanket that I want to decorate and we still need to do the hot chocolate bar that I am so needing especially now that it's it's not cold here though but it's the holiday season so why not I purchased this like pre-lit garland and honestly I think I don't know where I wanted to put it and I could put it back here but I actually think it could look cute going at the top of the, the TV like take your eyes a little higher like at the top of that TV look me and Monty, Mon me and Monty are matching so I did end up putting it back there on top of my TV. I don't know how cute that looks. It's really hard to maneuver and all the white stuff keeps falling everywhere. So I just kind of gave up on it. And I was just like, we're gonna chill out. We're gonna do the hot chocolate thing. Are you gonna help mommy? And I actually need to start cooking dinner really soon. So yeah, we're gonna start the hot chocolate. And also I still have the red blanket to put on my couch. I need to unpack that. But me and Monty look like twins. I love you. Okay guys, well it's technically been probably about a good 35 minutes. I moved, I kind of just wanted this wall to kind of be like all girly and stuff. But I still have stuff everywhere. And I know it's gonna take me a little bit. So you know what, I was like, I better go ahead and start dinner. See, that's what I wanted to tell you one thing about Vlogmas. <laughs> okay, let me just say this. When doing Vlogmas, you have to try to showcase a piece of your day or showcase something. And so that's why for me, sit down talks are so easy because I can just sit down and talk and focus. But I don't know what it is. It's my, probably a little bit of ADHD, probably a little bit of just busyness. And like, I'm a really creative person. And the other day I really was like, I want to move my place around, but I never did it. And so today as I was decorating and I just kind of was like, it just feels so crowded. Like, I just want it more open, and that's kind of the whole reason why I moved stuff to, like, open up the space. Like, it just feels really, and it's already a small place anyways, but I'm like, and also, too, I love that it's small because that makes you get so much more creative, right? So I'm sure I'll show you by the end of this vlog everything that I'm doing right here. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you, but I got to start cooking. If I don't start cooking dinner, I will be starving and never eat and then I'll have focused on that all night so I know I've learned so I have uh, is this a pound a 1.6 pound of ground beef 
I'm going to fry this beef up. Also, in the meantime, while I'm frying the beef up, I'm gonna put some tater tots in the oven. I really believe, I'm making a tater tot casserole because it can, it can go for days. That's the go, like it can, you can eat this for ages. And so that's why I'm making it to start my week off right. So I have something to eat on and I'm not just eating fast food all week or the first beginning of the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and fry my hamburger meat, season it up, fry my seasonings. Yeah, fry my hamburger meat, season it up. Also to get ready for my making this because I'm like, I need to just start it. Cause like Monty's over here like, mom, what are you doing? So it's like, these were all the books and Bible books I have, I have so much books, all my shoes, trays some purses, more stuff, clothes. And I need to organize this area eventually because I have stuff all right there. But I'm kind of just using this section to kind of lay it out. But I do think once I'm done, it's going to be so open and just so much more spacious. Agreed? Agreed, hopefully. You can't see it right now, but I promise I'll show you the end result when I get there. I got this Merry Christmas tray from the dollar store and I was like, ooh, this is perfect for our hot chocolate. joining me for another day of vlogmas this video did not go as planned but i hopefully it still inspires you for the holiday season and just helps you feel festive and excited and eager to do everything you need to do girl so hopefully this inspired you and i'm so excited just for this vlogmas season hopefully you liked everything as well as the meal was so good hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye